Your teen requested a ride, but this time not from you. It's through their Uber teen account. You drive your teenager around a lot to their friend Jacob's house, their other friend Jake's house, to James's, to Jaden's, to Jalen's, to. Oh, uh, mom, this is Jake's house, not Jacob's. Now with an Uber teen account, your teen can request a ride under your supervision. The ride with a highly rated driver, and with live trip tracking, you'll follow along the whole ride to their friends' houses that all sound the same. Add your teen to your Uber account today. See app for details. Bye, mom. It's time for Tuesday Terror here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Nature. I've got a gay rooster named Francois. Is so gay. These rams are gay. I'm studying gay animals. Does that mean I'm gay? So why don't more people know this? I'm Owen Ever. I'm Lane Kaplan Levinson, and this is a field guide to gay animals. A podcast about queerness in the natural world. The animal kingdom is queer, and we are a part. Find a field guide to gay animals on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. ACAST helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. ACAST.com Damn it, Carl. Just push that button when we're ready to record. That's all you have to do, man. Sorry, I haven't used your camera before. And would you try to make the shot look good at least? You know, like, frame it? Hey, Puck, how much time we got? Uh, about an hour until we gotta head back for chow. And Michael knows we're doing this. Yeah, mostly. Really? Yeah, he knows enough. Carl, are you gonna narc on us? Carl, it's all right, all right? He's cool with us having some free time. Just chill. Are we gonna get going? Where's the script? Here it is. The first scene. All right, what? Okay, you got one copy. How is that even going to work? Is this handwritten? What the hell does that even say? I didn't have that much time, and you can all just memorize it. You don't need it right in front of you. This looks like a toddler wrote it. Did you write it with your left hand? You know we have computers. This isn't the Stone Age, dude. And there's a copy machine in Michael's office. Oh, fuck you guys, all right? I'll do it better for the next scene. Let's just get this done. We've been putting this off for way too long. Okay, fine. Who am I? Puck, you're Pedro. Muldoon, you're Mimi. Pedro? Wait, wait, wait. You want me to play a Mexican accent? What the hell is your part? What the fuck kind of name is Mimi? It's symbolism. Just go with it. It's gonna be cool. Symbolic to what? Your favorite restaurant, you slob? Hilarious. Hilarious. I haven't been to Mimi's yet. Yeah, because they don't exist. I hear you saying it in your sleep every night. Mimi's, Mimi's. They're Thanksgiving dinner. So good. Uh, Excuse me. Question. Who am I playing? I want to know who the hell you play, Robbins. All right? What's the name? I'm Marlon. Like Brando? You think you're Marlon Brando? No, not Marlon Brando. The fish. Like the fish in the movie, right? Oh, Marlon the fish. I like that. I'm not the fucking fish, all right? It's just it's just Marlon. That's it. He doesn't have a last name yet. Uh, diva before the first page. Has anyone else read this? Not me. What's it say? Is this even the movie we talked about? Shouldn't the beginning of a musical start with a song? These don't look like lyrics to me. Wait, musical? What? No, we scrubbed that idea, remember? No one wants to see a musical, and I can't even write a musical. What? Exactly, which is why Space Zombie Invasion was the best choice. Super easy to do. And I mean, everywhere you go, the setting is ready. Why would anyone want to see a movie about the zombie apocalypse living in the zombie apocalypse? Nobody asked you, Carl. Yeah, Carl. And you better not let Michael hear you use the Z word. What's with him and the Z word anyway? He's like the zombie Al Sharpton. Nah, it's, I think it's because he doesn't like want people to just assume some rules about zombies based on those Hollywood movies and shit like that. I mean, it made a little bit of sense. I mean, you know, it's him. All right, you Michael apologist. Look, would you just start learning your lines so we can get this thing started? We don't have a lot of time. Okay, okay. So when do the space zombies land? Is this the scene? I still think Zompires was a better idea. You know, the zombie vampires? 
Zompires? All right, that sounds like zombie umpires. It didn't work, Carl. Oh, and space does? Whatever, man. All right, we're not doing any of those ideas. Shit, I changed it to something better. Diva already. I told you. Shut up. Listen, look, okay? Here it is. This is a zombie western. Wait, what? A western? How would that even work? All the backdrops here are modern. It doesn't matter. We shoot around it. Movie magic, plenty of open lots. We make it more western-like with... You know, themes and shit. All right, I still like the musical idea. You know, some song, some dance, gotta do the bada, yeah. Oh. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, thank Look, you. I already wrote the script. We're here. Let's just give it a try. If it works, great. If not, we'll try something else next time. So I'm still speaking with, like, a Mexican accent? We're really doing this? Hey, at this point, I'm just glad that we're finally shooting something. A zombie western shot in L.A.? I still don't get how this is going to work. It's a comedy, too. It's, it's going to be funny. So a zombie comedy western. Or is it a zombie western comedy? Ha! Whatever. This has got to be the stupidest idea I've ever heard of. Wayland Productions presents We're Alive. Gold Rush. Chapter One On the Road Again Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Whalen. Welcome to Gold Rush. Now before we begin our adventure, a word of warning. The story you're about to hear contains loud sounds, adult situations, and language. There will be some minor spoilers, for this is the third installment of We're Alive. It's not required to know what's happened before in order to understand and enjoy this series, but it also doesn't hurt. And with that, we're ready to begin. Our story begins 17 years after the outbreak, in a place that might be familiar. The city-state of Westport, formerly known as the Colony. Some things have changed, and some things never will. Moving to the pharmacy, Alex Covernick. I don't need him to Just cover Just do me. it! Now! Clear. Same on this side. Nothing in here. Nick, watch the front. Alex, help me look for it. Uh, erythromycin, right? That's what we're supposed to find? Erythromycin, with an E. There's no infected out there, so take your time. Almost sound disappointed. Because I am. We should be so lucky. Why? You scared? Ignore him. Keep looking for the pills. And Nick! So help. Just watch that door. I feel like the other trainees are going to be disappointed that we, of all people, won't have a story from the arena. What? Like this is a fucking game to you? They keep score, don't they? Ignore him. He, he doesn't mean that. 
We already walked like half the arena. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't see at least one. There's only three infected in the arena. That we know nothing about. You are scared of them. You should be. And why is that? You think they're different? They are. The ones in the arena, they're tortured, they're pissed, they're hungry, and they don't want to infect you. They want to tear you apart. How would you know that? My team found out the last time I was in here. It's bad enough to lose a teammate, but then you get recycled. Yeah, well, Vera and I are different. You hope. You don't want to have to do this all again next year. Trust me. Found it! Got the pills. Sweet, you did? We can leave now. Head back to the start point. But that's it? It's over? This was the mission. Now, come on! Block's clear. Should we go back the same way we came? Yes. Go, stay in the open. We ain't out of the woods yet. How big is this place? How far does it go that way? A lot of blocks. Tons of concrete required to build the walls. Seems like a big waste of resources. Training's important. And you don't want them getting out. Where is it? Around the office building. No need, come on. What are you doing? It went this way. We don't need to go after it. Put our backs to it? Shit, another one, down our path. This one's right here, I got it. Wait, wait, stay together. Get back here, you idiot. This way. He's not going inside, is he? Damn it. Nicholas Tink, get back here. It ran in here. Stupid son of a... In here. Get your light on. He's not dead, he's gonna be. Hey. Watch it with that thing. Nick? Relax. I know how to handle this. Good. We need to leave. What the hell did you think you were doing? Something was happening. Okay, they were setting up a trap on the road. I broke it up. The trap wasn't on the road. No! 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 Back up! Okay, it ain't moving, it ain't moving. They put something behind it. Save that ammo. They only gave us seven shots for the Mata gun. We need to find another way out of here. And never go into a building if you don't have to? And what the hell were you thinking? They were setting up something, so Yes! I... This, dumbass! Your kill was just the bait. Well, should we call it in? Or stick it out? I warned you, you cocky mother- Present right, situation! Oh, oh, Present situation! Go. We are not calling in. That's an auto failure. There are two infected remaining, probably waiting for us ahead. There's nothing else this way, so we'll need to push towards the center of the building into whatever they have for us. You follow me, or get left behind. Got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Whatever you say, Vera. Ammo check. 115 round magazine for the M16. Three shots with the Mata 6. Take my pistol, I have something else. <laughs> they let you take that in here? In a manner of speaking. Why would you ever choose a sword over a pistol? It's a katana, and it won't run out of ammo. And she is pretty good with it. Are you both fucking loony? Maybe, but I'm still in charge, so follow. You're either going to get me killed or recycled again. Not if we stick close to the... Vera, are you okay? I... I'm fine. The ceiling just collapsed. Be careful. They want to separate us. I know. I'm the separated. We have to find a way around somehow. We're, we're coming to you. The center of the building is completely burnt out. Be careful. Everything's unstable. Yep, that goes all the way outside. Well, I found a way to the roof. Shouldn't you be quiet? They know we're here. I want to hear you're close. Keep talking. We're trying to find a way to you. <sighs> Hold on. 
They're above me. I think we just passed a way out of here. Last one's bailing. Left hallway. It went to the left. Th there it goes. Well, I don't want to run after it. Do you? What are you doing? Getting a higher position. Isn't that a little ambitious? Piece of work, you know that? I am aware. Yeah, I hate you, but it's pretty awesome. Thought that infected was long gone. I spent a lot of time in the Guardian Towers. Plenty of practice along the border. We're all good now? Uh huh. Hey, we at least have a story, right? I'm not talking to you. This is Fire Team Red coming up to the extraction point. Fire Team Red Retrieval, three hours, 42. What's the score, Sergeant Hawks? One thing at a time. Move forward for injury checks. Dump your gear on the benches. Master of Arms, take their weapons. I'm just glad this is over. Clean in detail. Grab all the gear. Here's the mission briefing back. And, uh... <laughs> what are you missing? Um... D did one of you move the pills into your gear? Wait, what? No, you grabbed it. It was in your bag. I, I know, and it was in here. Did it fall out somewhere? Oh, boy. There, there's a hole in the bag. It must have tore when we went inside. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's all right, it's all right. We'll just go back and grab it really quick. The score won't change that much. Yeah. That's not allowed. You're already at the end. Mission's over. No way. Look, there's no danger. We killed all of them. That doesn't matter. It's meant to simulate a real environment. And we already left. Well, you, you aren't serious, are you? We killed every infected. Mission was item retrieval. What you did was just stupid. But doesn't matter. No item, no pass. It, it's safe. I, I can run there and back in like five minutes. Fall in line. Turn in your gear. It's over. Now. No, I, I can go get it. Look, Alex, Do not Alex, step just... one foot back in that arena. Do you hear me? Get back here now. Sorry, Alex. It wasn't your fault. Hey, look, man. Look, it's not a big deal, okay? We can just go. Hey! Alex! Okay. Come on now, what are you doing? Was not expecting that. You know. <laughs> hey, hey! Okay, now I'm pissed. Hey! Hey, hey get off of him! Call the general. I'm not doing shit. It's only ever about you, isn't it? Stop, stop now! Well, you could dish it, but you can't take it, huh? Nick, stop! You couldn't leave it alone, could you? How's your story now? You're gonna repeat an entire year. What an ending. You really think I'm gonna have to do that? Or her? Nick. Yeah, of course. Why should the rules ever apply to either of you? Do either of you ever have any consequences? I have earned my place here, same as him. We've done everything you have. Really? No bending of the rules? No privilege? No extra katana? Extra what? Where? Oops. Thank you for that. Continue to screw everyone, why don't you? Where's the katana? You know, it may look bad to repeat a year, but I cannot imagine what two is gonna look like. Maybe people will start thinking you're not suited for this line of work. You know, I... I tell you to go home, but... <coughs> not again, Jeez. Too far, Nick! Yeah, got nothing, boy. Let's go, we got nothing, Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, 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 break it up! Come on! Nothing will ever happen to you two! Pure fucking nepotism! Is it our fault we still have people alive who care about us? You fucking bastard! Get the hell off of each other! All right, get them inside. Doing? Separate rooms now. Yes, sir. You're lucky he came, you shit. Get him out of here. 
Sir, I'm very sorry about that. It's just... I know, they... I know. Get to inspection. Fuck. I'll take care of it. Sergeant Hoggs? Yeah. Watch him. You got it, sir. We'll be back after a brief word from our sponsors. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Nature. I've got a gay rooster named Francois. Is so gay. These rams are gay. I'm studying gay animals. Does that mean I'm gay? So why don't more people know this? I'm Owen Ever. I'm Lane Kaplan-Levinson. And this is a field guide to gay animals. A podcast about queerness in the natural world. The animal kingdom is queer. And we are a part. Find a field guide to gay animals on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. ACAST helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. ACAST.com. Now, where do you think you're going? Stay tuned after the credits for a preview of the next episode of Gold Rush. And now, on with the show. We can't really bend the rules for them, you know? It wouldn't look right. I understand that, and wouldn't expect you to. But repeating two years, when neither one was actually Alex's fault, and after his mom, I just can't do it. Mom? Yeah. She died like a month ago. Brain clot, or something like that, over at Lake Matthews. The guy has been through a lot of shit lately, and hasn't fallen out. Not like he'd have anywhere to go, but, uh... And, and you care if he repeats with the other? I'm kind of responsible, right? The kid's got no one now. The kind of shit he's already dealt with, and he's barely 17. There are a lot of kids going through the same thing here. I know. I just don't want to lose Alex. Sir. What is it? Caught the soldier from today trying to go over the wall. You want to guess who that is, CJ? Bring him up. All right. Do what you think is best. We do owe it to Robin to... Look after his son. I actually got something in mind. Something to try with him, but uh, it might take me away for a little bit. What? Why? It'd take a while to explain, but just trust me. Do what you need to do. For the other two, is it fair to bump Nick and Sarah back for just half a cycle? Yeah, I could probably arrange that. They didn't mess up that badly. Some of those infected have been in there for quite some time anyway, so... All right, we'll hobble your ass in there, and don't bomb the speech. We're already too late. We need to tell him. Oh, boy. Mr. Mayor, I believe the zombies have taken over the Abernathy farm outside of town. What should we do? We will do what we have to to survive. Oh, that idiot. Mimi. Tell everyone to board up the windows to the entire town and shoot anyone that acts funny. Even if it means taking the lives of others? Oh, Carl. Whatever the cost. Secretary, we need to leave. Oh, no! Are they attacking now? No, no, no. Cut, cut. Drama queen. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. What are you talking about? I nailed my line. I don't understand why the characters need to leave at all. And where are we going? We haven't written that part yet. Well, can't you cut that part in or something, whatever you do, edit? Uh, we have actual work to do. What really needs to be done at 10 o'clock at night, Michael? Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Perfect, Pegs. Keep doing what you're doing. Michael, act. You gotta be the mayor. Mayor. Can anyone else hold the camera now? My arm's getting tired. Oh, yeah. Everyone else is in the scene. Not you. I'm directing. Where the hell are you 
taking me. You're lucky it ain't the brig. Hey, screw you, pig. Like I haven't heard that one before. Hey, it's all right, Sergeant Hoggs. Cut him free. General? He was going AWOL, sir. Alex, you going anywhere now? No, sir. Also found contraband on him. Not the only one drinking tonight. How should I proceed? Give us some time, all right? No problem. Sir. Sir, about earlier, I I'm sorry that I got... I heard thing. everything Nick said. I probably would have hit him, too. But you know, Saul was his dad, and what that means to people. You think I give a shit about that? He was saying some awful things. You can't let what someone says change you. Real soldiers don't show their pain. Follow me, you can lose the sir nonsense, all right? Your little fight, it's not the worst thing that happened, but do you know how bad AWOL is? Absent without leave? You know what happens after that? You don't get let back in. I mean, with all due respect, sir, so the hell what? Where are you gonna go? There are other options. How are you planning on getting there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my goodness, this is some good whiskey. I know. Cost me a fortune. Oh, is that so? All right, well then, in that case, you keep it. I mean, after your day, shit. <sighs> this means I'm out, right? What? No, you're still in. That hasn't changed. Sir, I, I don't want to get you in trouble. I can't legally have this. All right, fine. Whatever. You're temporarily unenrolled. Now get your ass over to my desk. Have a seat. Did you just kick me out of the program? I thought I was still in. I'll reinstate you after, all right? Don't worry about it. You can do that? I just did. So I can, all right? If you say so. All right, come on. What is this place? Never been here before. You might enjoy this. All right, let me get the lights. Whoa. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Your own museum? Well, CJ called it a library of artifacts, potato, potato. You know any of this stuff? Of course. Who doesn't? Are these... The, the original journals? Few of them anyway, yeah. I thought these would be locked up somewhere. They are. Some stuff's here, some stuff's downtown in the official museum. I just have my own stash. Everything's so familiar. The sat phone. And is that a piece of wall from the original tower? Yeah, some rules of the tower section. Before my time. And is that... is that Shirley? Yep. Bert asked me to keep the pieces here safe. What's with the whole getup? Ah, Bert did all that. Got really into Lord of the Rings a few years back, and uh... So he made Shirley look like the shards of Narso. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was kinda dumb. <sighs> he did a good job putting it together. I, I think it looks good. Maybe it is a little bit cool. This can't be an original Modigun? Yep. This is, uh... This is the one Robbins and I used back then. Is this what you want to talk about? Stories about my dad? No. Well, kinda. And, and your mom, too. My mom? No, not like that. Sir, look, I know you were his friend, but no thank you. I don't need your help, and you don't owe me anything. All right, it might be important to know a little bit more about Sir, something. honestly, I don't want to. They're dead, and I could give two shits about either one. All right, obviously, you still do. Otherwise, you wouldn't have knocked Nicholas on his ass. Sir, I... I Look, trainee, <laughs> do you know what the alternative scenarios are right now? Okay, I got other options than chatting a little bit, all right? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, some of your mom's stuff got sent over from Lake Matthews after she died. Yeah, I got the copies you sent. Yeah, you watch any of the videos? A few. Really great stuff. My dad was screwing around in all of it. Okay, to his defense, we usually only filmed when we were screwing around. <laughs> Can't believe she got them. The tapes. Not me. All right, you and I both know she had her own issues. She told you she OD'd? Blood clot was what I was told. You believe that? Maybe. What is all this? You trying to soften the blow before you cut me from the program? What? No, I just... You already unenrolled me. All right, that was a joke. All right? To get you to drink and relax. All right, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. Will you please just let me do that? Fine. I'll cut to the chase. How well you know the story of survival? I've read the book a few times, and we had to read it in school. Did your mom ever tell you 
How she met Robbins? City visitor at Lake Matthews. Yeah, that's what I thought she'd say. Well, that's not really the truth. Your mom was a very secretive person. She left out details. I get why. But since I'm the only one left now, I ain't dying the only one who knows this shit. What does any of this have to do with the story of There's survival? There's a few gaps in time, you know? Sometimes nothing happened or people didn't write anything down. Other times, we just never turned in the journal. What is this? Carl wrote it. I kept it. The crazy stuff that happened. Oh, man. No one knew. We didn't tell a soul. Why? A few reasons. I'll get to that. Wait, what are you doing? I shit you not. It all starts right here. We started recording this little bit. So what the hell did we do? Oh, we got the rewind. Just a second. Wait, this says you guys went Wait, to- Wait, hey, 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 don't get ahead of me. All right, I'll get there. Here it is. We'll do it, you ready? Ah. We shot this in the band and lot. Can't even tell, right? Yeah. Uh, I am. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, Rolling. we broke in the Universal. We shot a bunch of scenes there. I mean, they got this whole Western hey, backlot bro. thing. The zombies seem to have taken over the library. We should get out of town. Meet up with the others. See, right behind you, buddy. This is terrible. This does have a point, right? Hey, hey, just keep watching. All right, jeez, just keep watching. No. He's sure it's hot out here. I think I need a break. Now's not the time for a break. All right, just keep going. Walk towards the street. I can't walk any further. Come on, Muldoon, say the line. I don't care if they have my girlfriend. We need to get out of here. Uh, all right, now, now keep going. Keep going. It's a cut, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's the end of the page. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, shit! Fine. They're standing on me. Uh, there's someone over here. Uh, get that stuff off him. Take his rifle. <laughs> under that. Should we put it back? <laughs> hey, hey, stand back. Is he bit or what? No, 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 just shot. It's a lot of blood. Call it in, quick. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. What? Why, why wouldn't we call it in, buddy? It won't matter now. Where are you hit? Don't, 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 please, don't move me. Don't move me. I think he's paralyzed. Yeah, I'm mostly shot in the back. <laughs> I still got one good arm. Here, you want some water? So what the hell do we do? I got some morphine in my bag. We can give him some morphine. Does that help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep drinking. Thanks. You got any more of that morphine? That's all we got, man. So, uh, so who shot you? My stinking bastard partner. Ex-partner. Dead partner. God damn it. Someone else over here. How do we miss all these bodies, guys? Hey, hey, mister, stay with me, okay? Uh, uh, our truck, our truck broke down. Your truck? <laughs> Is that why you're here? Uh, follow, follow the map. Map? What map? Take it. Take it, it's yours. What's ours, buddy? What are you talking about? What's ours? Oh, thank you. Hey, no, 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 no. You're gonna be just... Fine. He's dead. You killed him, Carl. What the fuck just happened? What was that all about? I have no idea. Map? What? This guy's... He's got nothing on him. I mean, he was high on morphine. Uh, guys? I found something. Is it the map? Uh, maybe you should just come take a look. What do you find? Apparently his partner. Look at all this. Let me see. Looking for a map, right? It's hand-drawn, and the only name of the road on there is Route 66. Oh, that narrows it down. Oh, yeah, that's super helpful. Map to what, though? Bars. 3,000... Bars. Um, what does that mean? These are loading plans, and there's a code number here. For truck. That truck's on the map? On the road? And there's like a mountain or a hill over there? 
So what do you think's in it? Here, I think he's holding something. If we just roll him over. Uh, holy what shit. The... Is that? Was he laying on a bar of fucking gold? Is that real? It can't be. Bullshit. No way. No way. This is super heavy. It's real. And the paper said there were 3,000 of these things. No way. No freaking way. Take it. It's yours. That's a bunch of bullshit, man. This is a prank, right? They set the camera down. I can't even see anything anymore. It's there. I can only see the top of your head, and even then, what does this have anything to do with me? I'm getting to that, all right? It's not a short story, and you're getting the full thing, so sit down and listen. Okay, yeah, but that gold bar you found, that, that, that's part of your movie, right? There's no way anybody would ever have a bar that big. Can I continue or not? That's, that's, that's real? Oh, you better believe it is. Continue? Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. I... I just can't... I, I mean, how? This thing is so heavy, it could hurt you. Where the hell did it come from? Obviously, these two stole it or something. Well, no shit, they stole it. There's writing on it. Turn it over. Fort Knox. What? No, dude, that's impossible. It says it right there. Look, there's a number on the side, too. How the hell these two jerk-offs get it out of Fort Knox? What, you think security lasted after the end of the world happened? Give it to me. I want to hold it. <laughs> what the hell is this worth? You mean now, like today? Or like when dollars were a thing? Uh, I mean, last year I think the price per ounce was something like $900. An ounce? This thing's like 25 pounds! Someone else do the math. Okay, so that bar would have been worth like 350 grand. I could have bought a mansion with what I'm holding right now? Alright, dude, welcome to California. That would have got you half a fixer-upper. If these guys really took 3,000 bars, how much would that- It's about a billion dollars, more or less. No, that much? And even all that wasn't enough. Shot your partner in the back. Okay, wait, we don't really know who shot first. Well, the only answer to that question is Han Solo. Oh, you fu <laughs> Zing. fucking nerd. Huh. You know, if you think about it, it must have been the guy who talked to us who fired first. So our guy shot this guy. Then when our guy was leaving, this guy shot him in the back? Oh, shit. We gave morphine to the bad guy. Ah, uh, what a way to go. Killed by your own buddy over something that ain't even worth shit anymore. Well, not necessarily. There's no way they could have stole it before the outbreak, so it's still got to be worth something. What always holds its value through every major civilization? Gold. Yeah, but not for, like, freaking years. What if that bar was just from a souvenir shop or something? A, a paperweight with a giant logo that says Fort Knox. I mean, come on. This seems real to me. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the government would actually put some huge label on it. And a cereal. So, we'd have to melt it down and make our own bar. Hell, you could make a lot of shit out of gold just for fun. We could do the golden gun from Bond. Oh, fuck yeah, dude! You'd need more than one bar, though, right? Lucky for us, we know where 2,999 more are. Wait, come on. You're not all that dumb, right? It's obviously a trap. Oh, follow our map. We show up, and boom! We're all dead. Yeah, maybe finding these two is actually part of the trap. I mean, you have no idea who these guys are. Did anyone even check for IDs yet? I checked the other guy. Not him, though. All right. Mm. Sorry, buddy. Here. Let's see. Henry Blackburn from Virginia. Huh. I'm, the face matches. Let's see. Business card says he was an accountant. Okay. So probably not a mauler. We're in the clear on that. Anything else in there? Nah, not really. But who still carries around their ID and wallet? I do. It's a force I have it. Feels weird without it. Yeah, Michael does too. Then this guy wasn't trying to hide who he was. Maybe they weren't so bad after all. Yeah, but they still stole the gold. Do we know that? Maybe they just collected it. No one left guarding Knox? Why not? 
Two guys load the bars in their truck and it breaks down because they overload it. True, but it wouldn't be easy to move that much gold. It couldn't just be any truck. It would need a lot of axles. Exactly. Amateur move. And the map is the only way they would know how to get back to the truck. All that gold had no use to a dying man. A couple of nice guys like us come along, try to help him, drug him a little bit. We get rewarded. You guys aren't seriously considering following the map. I'm just talking right now. Yeah, what do you expect us to do? Go back to filming after all this exciting shit is happening? These were bad dudes, and now they're dead. And you just want to pick up where they left off. Well, regardless, we can let Michael or CJ decide once we get all this back to them. That's the plan, right? Why do they need to know? You want me to lie to Michael? He'd see right through me, okay? I, I, I can't do that, and, and why would we not tell him? Look. I enjoy living at the colony. I do. But let's face it, we're the low men on the totem pole. We're always getting shit on. Especially you, Carl. Low men on the totem pole are the highest ranking. Well, then it makes perfect sense. I am the highest ranking officer. Look, man. We took orders from Boulder. That went under. Next came Irwin. Same thing there. Now we do all the colony's dirty work. Maybe we stop jumping from one shitstorm to another. And that gold, it can change all that. Who the hell is that? Someone, please. We need help. We found this place. Where is that coming from? It's gotta be an outpost, right? It's the only thing that would be on that channel. If there's no one out there, we need to go. Respond. Say something. Where you at? Victor beat you to it. Oh, thank God. I, I don't know. It, it, it's an apartment building. I, I saw the radio antenna on the roof, so... Oh. There should be a number written on the radio. Find it. They're gonna need our help, right? Yeah. All right, grab everything you can, throw it in the back of the Hummer. You good to drive? Of course. We just gonna leave the bodies there? Yeah, I mean, unless you got a good reason to take them with us. Grab all their shit anyway. 16, the number is 16. That's not too far. Yeah, load up. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, you're right, that bar is super heavy. That everything? Got their bags and gear, nothing else on them. I'm driving, Carl. You sure? I mean, I can just, I mean, you go on. Trust me, he's fine. I got the turret. We're not far. We're heading there now. Okay. We ain't gonna say shit about the gold to anyone, right? Uh, I mean, I kinda understand, but not telling Michael? Look, why don't we just put a pin in it and not say anything right now? Keep it to ourselves. We still don't know if any of this is even true. Hey, man. Did you just say, put a pin in it? I don't know, guys. This. I, I don't feel right about this. If, if Michael asked me, I don't even know if I can lie. Carl, you won't have to with him, all right? We can just do that for you. So we all good? No one says shit? All right, I'm on board. I'm, I'm coming. 250 mil each. Pleasure doing business with you gentlemen. Now let's go save some fucking lives and get rich. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't... Hey, get... Robin! What? Now your zombie comedy western movie comes with a treasure hunt. I'm not gonna lie. You're a bunch of fucking idiots, but that sounds awesome. Yeah! Hello? Come in. Are you still at 16? Well, that's not good. We're coming up on the outpost. All right, Robbins, you stay up there. Watch our backs with the turret. Carl, Muldoon, you follow me. Got it. All righty. The others are already here. Come on. Outside looks clear. You sure this is it? And they just happen to go to the wrong place too, dumbass? Big talk. Just remember, I got this big gun. I'm not talking about the turret. Yeah, keep perpetuating that lie. I've seen your penis. All right, seriously, shut the fuck up. Hey, don't forget to ask him about, you know, the thing. If it comes up, just stay in the turret. Hey, guys. Good timing. You good following our lead? Why? Because you're military police? Infantry, right here. You want to step in front? By all means. Uh... Baby daddy gonna be in the back. Thank you. Yeah, as you should be. Oh, falling behind too. 
All right, this way. It's so quiet. I know, it's weird. It sounded like there was way more going on over the radio. How you doing, man? It's been a while. Doing good. Been sticking around Dunbar mostly. Lizzie's getting bigger every minute. It's really great, man. So, uh, Robbins was wondering if you and Lizzie got the script. Talk about that later, guys. So what's the plan? All right, head in the side door. Clear the building as we go until we reach the outpost on the second floor. Watch our backs. It's an apartment building, so lots of rooms around the safe house. Anything else we should know? The outpost door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. Keys under the mat. So secure. This is meant to be a place to go when you're on the run, for anyone who needs it. And it worked. If anyone's even alive in there. Yeah. You see any signs of a big one or something weird? Book it back outside, got it? Robin's on the 50 cal. Ready. Rock and roll. I'm good. Out Falcon standing. Oh. Am I supposed to say something too? Let's go. Falcon? Like a bird? He thinks it's clever. They don't like when you swear in the military. So that's his way around. Shh. Movement. Second floor. Moving inside. Stick close. I'm in. I might have something. Single contact! We're alive. Gold Rush will return next week. Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Wayland. Starring Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira, Austin Trace, Vincent Tyrone Green II, Hajin Cho, Thomas Bell, Jim Gleason, Otto Sturk, Nate Jeeves, Elisa Elliott, Constance Parn, and guest starring Danny Trejo as Blackburn. Additional voices by Liam Holton, Caitlin Bristow, and me, I'm Michael Swan. Produced by Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira. Associate producers, Shanti Ryle, Lauren Kroon, Blair Whalen. Casting by David Seiden, Vanessa Knight. Original music by Danny Burkhoff Hopkins. Supervising sound designer, Casey Whalen. Sound designers, Michael Keane, Brian Lincoln. For more info about the show and a complete list of cast and crew, visit us at www.we'realive.com. We'd like to thank the entire team at Podcast One. As the leading podcast network, they have made it possible to bring this series to life for you. And they have more than 200 of today's best podcasts easily accessible on the free Podcast One app. This has been a Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Dedicated to Nick. In the next chapter of We're Alive. Single contact! Here as we go! You know what? Fuck it, let's do it. Hey, okay. yeah! Hey, Muldoon, are you sure that this is a good idea? Well, we got this birthday thing tonight. Why don't we talk about it afterward? Watch. There's gonna be like five people at this thing. No one said it was a themed party. Did anyone actually read the invite? What do you say? Meet back at Robbins in my place at 12? Hey, fine by me. <laughs> yeah.